Hello, my name is Martine Smith and I'm the Dean of Graduate Studies here in Trinity College in Dublin. In this short video, I'm going to explore with you some of the reasons why you might choose to fulfil your postgraduate research ambitions here with us in Trinity College and what the first steps might involve to start you on this journey. So why do a research degree here in Trinity? There are, of course, many different reasons each one unique to the person making the choice. But some things that I think are important include, first of all, the fact that we are both an old university and a future-focused university. This university is over 400 years old, but it has stood the test of time by constantly reinventing itself and maintaining a future focus on innovation and exploration. We are a research-led, research intensive university. Maintaining this level of research activity relies on building and maintaining a world-class group of researchers all focused on cutting-edge research. If you join this research community you will be working alongside these researchers in a supervision relationship that focuses on mentoring and support as seen in the best traditions of old universities. Ireland is a small country and has always looked outward. Trinity likewise is globally connected, its reach spanning all corners of the globe. But we are also firmly locally embedded here in the heart of the city in Dublin. We are proud members of international groups such as the League of European Research Intensive Universities or the Coimbra University Group. And that is possible through our extraordinarily international faculty coming from all corners of the globe and all continents. One of the key attributes of our postgraduate research programme is an emphasis on entrepreneurship, offering opportunities to all students to upskill themselves in this area even if it is not germane to their own specific research focus. If you decide to do your research degree here with us in Trinity, you'll be joining a vibrant community of more than 5,000 research students that are spanning across multiple disciplines with unique opportunities for interdisciplinary collaboration and innovation. Every research student must be driven by passion and curiosity. We see our role as a university as nurturing that passion and curiosity and supporting it with appropriate structures to ensure that your pathway through to your degree achieve achievement is smooth. This is possible through the world-class research teams that span across all 24 of our schools, all focused on pushing boundaries, forging new links, uncovering new knowledge. So what does a PhD in Trinity look like? Well, there are probably as many answers to that question as there are PhD or master's research students. That's because the research questions you're interested in are diverse. The teams that will support answering those questions are diverse. And so the research supervision models that fit with those research teams and those research questions also differ. You may be joining a lab-based group of colleagues who are all focused on the same research. On the other hand, you may be engaged in a lone scholar model, supervised by an expert scholar who will guide and mentor you on your own research journey. What's common across all of these supervision models is that Trinity embraces the structured PhD, a four-year programme of study that contains structured or taught elements. Each student must complete somewhere between 10 and 30 credits. They can achieve these taught elements within their own discipline, but equally they can avail of a range of modules that address transversal skills, such as enhancing your teaching, developing your career, research integrity, open scholarship, these transversal skills are designed specifically to support you to position yourself within the employment context. 
Each student is assigned to a primary supervisor. Many also have a secondary supervisor. Every student is also assigned to a thesis committee. The thesis committee plays an important gatekeeping role, monitoring progress at key points. This happens on a regular basis and at least every year, but in year two, there's a specific gatekeeping point, which we call the confirmation or transfer process, where you're required to present to your thesis committee, both written materials as well as an interview, so that they can benchmark your progress against your research ambitions. In this way, we aim to ensure that students have clear sight of their own progress in their research journey. Our 24 schools are based across three faculties, covering arts, humanities and social science, the science, technology, engineering and maths, as well as health sciences. This means we can accommodate a vast range of research interests and research students. Within each school, there is a dedicated director of postgraduate teaching and learning. This dedicated director is responsible for ensuring that you have appropriate supervision support and that your thesis committee is in place and functioning as expected. So where do you start on this research journey? Well, obviously the starting point for all students is their own research interest. What's useful then is to look at our schools and see if there are research teams or research leaders that you think you could collaborate with on your own research journey. It's useful to make informal contact, perhaps with the Director of Postgraduate Teaching and Learning within the school. They should be able to point you in the direction of the key people that are working within your area of interest. This is important as you prepare your application because a key part of the application is writing your own research proposal. Although it's not strictly necessary, it's always useful to have spoken with a potential supervisor as you formulate that proposal, so that you can showcase the work that you have done and your own ambition. Each proposal will be reviewed by at least two and often many more individuals within a school. This is to ensure that we are confident we can provide the supervision supports, the research supports and the student supports that will be essential for a successful postgraduate research experience. As part of the application process, you will also be expected to provide at least two academic references. You may be required to demonstrate you meet English language requirements and you will always be required to demonstrate that you also meet our academic requirements and so are well positioned to be a successful research student. You may also want to explore the funding opportunities that are available. Information about these can be found on school websites or for those that apply across schools on the college website. A key point of contact for you will be this postgraduate research link. Here's where you'll find all the details about the application process and the opportunities. So the next steps, I suggest, should be, first of all, planning your virtual visit to Trinity College in Dublin, exploring what we have on offer and what's of interest to you. Think about your own research interest and where it might fit. And when you've done that, then you're ready to start a conversation with the research teams whose interests align with yours. As my predecessor wrote, at its best, any university is a community dedicated to the enhancement of knowledge and understanding and for the betterment of humanity. I look forward to welcoming you into our university community. Hello, my name is Martine Smith. I'm the Dean of Graduate Studies here in Trinity College in Dublin, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this short video that introduces the postgraduate research opportunities that we can offer through our faculty in Health Sciences. We have a number of schools within the Faculty of Health Sciences. The Dublin Dental Hospital and the Dental School associated with it is strongly committed to improving health, in particular oral health in Ireland, 
through research by furthering knowledge and understanding of dentistry and oral biology. They have many different research themes, including inequalities in oral health, microbiology, oral cancer, regenerative dentistry, and you can find further information about each of these research themes and the research teams that underpin them by visiting their website. Another school within this faculty is the School of Nursing and Midwifery. This is a school with a very vibrant and active research community with a broad range of themes including ageing, intellectual disability, midwifery. If you go to their research page, you'll be able to find out information about how best to link with a supervisor whose research interests align with yours. The mission of the School of Medicine is to provide healthcare education, to train clinicians and allied health practitioners in a caring, competent and patient-centred manner, and so produce individuals who will become leaders in their field of practice. This is a multidisciplinary school which aims to be a leading research intensive institute to foster lifelong learning in its graduates and postgraduates and to integrate its educational obligations with patient care, research excellence and the generation of new knowledge. The ethos within the School of Medicine is of social responsibility public service and community involvement to meet the healthcare needs of the community across undergraduate and postgraduate programmes. As a school, it is linked strategically with many affiliated hospitals, with institutes and with centres, and you've got a flavour of some of those international linkages and national linkages here on this slide. The research themes within the School of Medicine are diverse. They span neurosciences, molecular medicine and genetics, oncology or cancer, population health and immunology and infection. Currently, the School of Medicine has approximately 1,300 undergraduate and over 450 postgraduate students. Of these, there are about 200 research students pursuing either PhD MD or MSc research degrees. The final school in the Faculty of Health Sciences is the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. In this school, the research vision is that insights and discoveries in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences will improve treatment and address global healthcare challenges. This means a wide range of research activities, focusing on developing better drugs, through advancing understanding of disease mechanisms, drug recovery, natural products and pharmacology and drug safety, forging his head with pharmaceutical materials in the formulation of medicines and drug delivery, through advancing our understanding of biopharmaceutics, new formulation approaches, powder and particle processing and nanomedicine, and of course the all-important clinical practice and patient care strand digging into areas such as population health, vulnerable populations, professional development, patient safety and medicine optimization. The School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences achieves its research mission by linking strategically with a range of partners, including research centres, institutes and networks, so that it can also fulfil its education mission. Current funding opportunities for research students, whether pursuing a uh, research MSc or a PhD, are through the Irish Research Council, the Health Research Board, various international government agencies, the Panos Pharmaceutical Innovation PhD Scholarship, or through competitive research funding schemes that have been awarded to individual principal investigators. If you're interested in pursuing this further, the best place to start is the research pages on the school website and to contact staff involved in the research area that interests you. Bear in mind, across all of the programmes outlined across all of the faculties, you will be always required to meet academic criteria and competence in English language.
I hope this very short presentation has given you a flavour of the opportunities that are available for you if you decide to do a postgraduate research degree in our Faculty of Health Sciences here in Trinity College in Dublin. Thank you. Thank you.